What's up? It's your favorite gaming ninja, Dark Shinobi, and I got a question for you guys. Have you ever dreamed of immortality? What about obtaining great powers? Lucky for you, Letting Games has created and cultivated the essence of might and reincarnation in the auto battle RPG entitled Immortal Reborn. The let's play I'm going to do for you guys, along with future tutorials, will guide you on your path to true power. As always, I remain your deadly assassin of ruthless commitment, Dark Shinobi. Now let the games begin. After each turn of the action bar, the card enters the action queue and waits to attack. Usually, you will attack the leftmost enemy. There are two main types of damage, physical and magical. The magical skills include four elements, fire, light, ice, and dark. You can recognize them by color. This indicates the distance between two sides. The attack range of your main hand weapon determines where you can strike. Hey newcomer, can you do me a favor? Collect materials to craft a hilt. That's the quest they started us with. Go back to the map when you complete the progress, you'll get tons of rewards. The world may change as the mission is complete. Thank you very much. The Order of Stars is recruiting. Won't you have a try? It's one of the most glorious orders in the kingdom, which has made great contributions to the country. Tap the guide button to quickly move to the location of the quest. Explore the mist to discover the wider world. Herman, Chancellor of the Stars, is an accomplished knight. He will be glad of your visit. You click OK and it automatically takes you to the battle. The battle is going to happen whether you're on the screen or not. So you can go check out your inventory, equip stuff. Don't forget to equip your new weapons. 
Weapons generate up to two cards in a fight. You can also equip two different one-handed weapons in both hands. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch our weapons up. This one's more powerful, but why not dual wield? And we had a new helmet, and it came right from our inventory. Uh, as a tip, you can also join uh, the Discord. It'll go right into the game. I'm already on it, so. But even though this is a different account, give me one second. Do you want to join the order? So that's the that's the next quest. Let me finish talking about the Discord. Come here. You click the Discord icon with the the diamond over top of it, and I'm gonna click out of that white box that just came up and I'm going to click mail and you still get the 40 diamonds for joining the discord there you go but you should join it and uh, help build the community for the game but I'm already on it that's why I didn't go through the process I'm going to equip these new weapons I have I usually try to put my strongest one in the left hand it's already the strongest one Boom. now after you finish a quest notice at the top where it says wilderness afk the game automatically goes into an afk mode even while it's open your game will continue to fight and after each battle or each section of the battle you get experience so you can the main thing I love about this game, you can play actively and while you turn the game off, you get offline rewards AFK style. I'm going to go on with the next quest. You're not strong enough. I will consider your request if you can handle the troubles in the suburb. So we have to defeat goblins and complete the trial. Click OK, it automatically goes into battle. And you see that diamond in the upper left corner by my name? You click on that, a little sneak preview. Oh, sorry, can't do that to level five. <laughs> anyway, this isn't a guide, this is just a let's play. To show you guys what the game's all about. Well, some of what it's about anyway. Box. Helps you strengthen your equipment. You can earn materials when offline. This is where you'll do your crafting, uh, your forging, putting gems in your sockets, etc. Looks like we got some new weapons. That BP there with the green um, arrow going up, that is your battle power. It's kind of like our overall, uh, gives you a general idea how strong your overall gear is. But that doesn't always mean that the thing you're going to equip is better, depending on what your future build is going to look like. There's plenty of times where I kept a level like 19 gear, even though I'm level like... 25 because it had better stats equipped to it now the hand the weapon that was in my first hand i'm putting in my second hand i always put my strongest one on my left that's just me and that quest completed you can tell because at the top it says uh, afk so that means the game is about to go into its afk mode and you can come over here and complete your quest ah Something is melted into my body, rolling in my blood. It feels like I'm, I'm, I'm going to explode. So, we just completed a achievement, if you will, and it unlocks a rune. It's going to take us to this screen here. There are 18 runes that you can unlock. So, we just got plus four in power. 
and eventually that goes into an even deeper part of the game that I'll explain in a future tutorial video. So, subscribe. Uh, let's show some of those. You come to your character screen. Up where it says Armory, under the shop, it says Room. Click on Room, it takes you to that screen. You can click on each one to see what you have to complete in order to unlock that room. Once you unlock all 18, you get an uh, you get another set of runes, which are essentially these, but they add to the uh, powers that you unlock. So instead of just plus four wisdom here, it'll have another ability added onto that. We just hit level five, so now we can click on that diamond up in the left corner up here. Learn new classes when you meet requirements. You can change your classes at any time. Different classes provide various powerful skills so that's another great thing about this game you can change your classes at any time uh in this game per tier that you unlock so we just unlock the beginner class which you unlock at level 5 15 for intermediate 30 for advanced 50 for master i'll go really in depth in another video explaining all the classes and what they're good for so Tap to check classes and skills. Choose and learn your favorite class. We have the Dreadnought here. We have oh, let's go out of that. We have the Dreadnought here. We have the Magician. We have the Trainer. And we have the Gladiator. Just to start with our beginner classes. Uh, the Gladiator. Again, this isn't a guide video. I'm just gonna choose one. Uh, this one's more for minions. Here, you can have pets. I'm going to choose one I've never chosen before, and I'm going to go with the Magician. The Equip skill generates the corresponding card in the combat. So, okay. Tap the skill to equip, upgrade, promote, and check for more details. Alright, I'm going to equip ice shot here it deals 80 percent of your main hand base damage plus 12 as ice damage also if you notice it says the cooldown is five seconds it's going to allow you to attack with this ability every five seconds automatically the range is eight so if they're eight feet away you still hit them and it targets two enemies in one shot Ice Mouse, going to equip that. You summon a Fire Mouse. Ice Mouse, sorry. You summon a Fire Mouse on the right, which will be the right of your um, card on the bottom of the screen, which deals 121.8% base damage plus 17 as fire damage to the target. Now we're going to go back to our battle screen and watch them in action. There's our Fire Mouse attacking. I shot just attacked two people and that battle's over and it just went AFK again let's go on to the next quest a mysterious person huh can you feel that with the rune you can command the power of the gods I'm here to guide you you can call me Oracle are you yearn for greater power then find more runes so we're going to start that mission <clears throat> so over here under the discord button that's glowing right now is the ascension and you have to unlock these in order, but when you meet certain requirements, like learn the beginner class, you can claim rewards. The Hourglass, this allows you to forget uh, skills in the future to if you want to reset to try new builds. And you have uh, dailies, and there will be more and more dailies the more things you unlock in the game. Again, all this will be explained in future videos. For now, I just want to give you an idea of the game. More just the battling and how it works. 
Runes. Sounds fascinating, but I can't trust a stranger with such concealment. To steal the power from God will be neither straightforward nor simple. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. We just leveled up. Level 6. Looking good. Gonna just keep starting the next missions. I don't want to ruin the stories for anyone. So I'm gonna stop reading those. And I'm just gonna play. We're gonna equip our gear. And I'll be ending this video soon. Because I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what the game was like. Um... Here we have our stats, which after each battle, so right now, after these enemies die, that stat screen, which I'll go back to in a second, will change again. So, notice how this was what it was before. Go back in, it changed for that particular battle. So you know um, how many attacks did each attack or minion do uh, in that battle. The ratio of percentage of damage that they done. Uh, so my longsword did 58.7% of the damage in that entire battle. And the average damage that it did per hit was 27. In the beginning of the game, you're just starting out. Most of the game is just clicking on the quest. Reading the lore. I'm here for the story. Um, and... Uh, Exploring, like it's telling us here, explore and miss to unlock new areas, quests, and functions. So you click on exploration and it's going to explore. Once it's done, this part of the map that's kind of like a lighter gray will unlock and give you more quests to play, which gives you more experience to help you progress in the game. On the world map at the bottom where it says arena, treasury, trial, boss, tower. Each one of those unlocks at a different level. Tower being 15, boss being 28, to, uh, trial being 37, arena being 35, and treasury being 40. Those all add other aspects to the game that just make it even better. We'll have a mine that allows you to get resources for free um, once time passes. The tavern will unlock side quests and new main quests and even a grimoire uh, which gives you more lore into the story. And I actually like how the somewhat broken English allows even more mystery into the game. Unlocking um, the history in the grimoire uh, is pretty cool too. And the more history and memories you unlock in the grimoire, the stronger you get. You get uh, passive bonus stats as well. I'm recording this on my phone. I'm not sure how much time I've taken already, and I don't want to make this an uh, increasingly long video. So I'll end it soon, especially with all these uh, cars passing. They're pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. But I'd like to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a YouTube video in years, <laughs> but I really really like this game um i've been a more of a mobile game player the last couple years i even sold my xbox believe it or not and i've been searching for a game that i can play around the clock that's something that mobile games are missing a lot of them are idle only or um afk games i was into afk arena for a long time but eventually you get to a point in those games where you have to, you're forced to put the game down for days, sometimes weeks at a time, so your offline rewards can accumulate and then you can progress in the game. This game allows you to play actively. Um, I can go through my stats, plan new builds, plan future builds, switch stuff up, and all the while on this screen, my game is still playing itself. I don't have to turn my game, my phone off for it to uh, progress. And then there's other aspects to do. When you run out of quests, current quests to do, there's the tower, which is um, each floor al allows you to...
complete a new challenge and for each floor that you defeat you get a um a percentage added on to the xp of your afk rewards so right now you notice under shop where it says current map sewer layer one 12 plus zero percent xp per 30 seconds for every floor you complete in a tower add two percent to that 12 um of the xp that you'll get while afk now every level you complete in the expiration on the map that 12 becomes a bigger number on my main account i'm up to 56 i think no i'm up to 41 plus 56 percent xp per 30 seconds so it just keeps growing if you have any questions put them in the comments below and uh, I'll reply with some help. Definitely join the Discord, which is on this screen, on your character screen right there. Um, and you can ask questions in there. Uh, on the Discord, uh, my name is... I'll actually, I'll type it in the comments below. I'll type it in the description. I'll also put in the description um, a link for a spreadsheet that the community is working on. Uh, this is an early access game. And the community itself is building up the information for people to learn more and more about this game. As I don't think there's a wiki yet. And that's mainly why I started making these videos. Because there's nothing on the game yet. So I figured I'd be the first. As always, it's your favorite gaming ninja, Dark Shinobi. Over and out.